Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in the south of France at Cannes Lion. We're now delighted to be joined by Dennis Buckheim, Global Head of Media, Entertainment, and Advertising at Snowflake. Dennis, such a pleasure to be with you here today. Likewise, thank you. Looking forward to diving in. Dennis, you recently joined Snowflake as the Global Head of Advertising, Media, and Entertainment. How has your previous experience positioned you for this exciting next step for the AI Data Cloud in the sector as a whole? Uh, it's it's a really interesting leap I think I've made in, in some ways, but I think there's a general theme in uh, in my career of being uh, serving almost as a bridge mm. uh, or helping the the industry bridge, especially advertising and ad tech uh, bridge from uh, you know, display advertising to video advertising, uh, hand sold media to programmatic. Uh, arguably overuse of data to a more secure private use of data, things like that. And I think the, the this bridge that we're walking on now is, I mean, there's still more to do with privacy and security for sure, but uh, but going beyond that into AI certainly is uh, is a very natural, important bridge for us to, to take now. And I've been, you know, I've been at companies like Meta kind of in a role like mm -hmm. that. Uh, I was a CEO of IAB Tech Lab, which is all about connecting companies and building bridges in a way. So I think that's the theme in a way. <laughs> <laughs> Very well put, Dennis. Well, well welcome to Thank Snowflake. You. And a year ago, we were looking at the hypothetical impact AI would have across the media landscape from streaming consolidation to talent to the ongoing disruption in Hollywood. We are past the time of hype and now in the time of action and business impact. From a macro standpoint, how does the AI data cloud help cut through the noise and provide insights to the broader ecosystem, allowing your customers and partners to move faster? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a strong believer in the, the Gartner hype cycle, right? And I would say we're not even through the hype cycle. We're not, we're not through the hype part right. of the hype cycle, even on AI yet in some ways, but, uh, I think we probably can all are all starting to to believe that what comes next is you know the, the natural end of the hype cycle is it turns out to be even bigger than the hype ultimately mm. right the initial hype well is, right is and it's it's kind of amazing to to think about that and obviously the context of the internet as a whole AI I think you know could be an even bigger disruptor and and uh, change agent and you know I, I think we're we're seeing now, uh, you know, the opportunities with data uh, in completely new ways. You know, sometimes the security is a consideration, privacy is a consideration for sure in how data is used. Uh, but the ability to connect data, to collaborate through data, uh, to take advantage of, you know, natural language models or large language models and uh, and really better understand uh, the, the data you have, connect it with others in a secure way is is just something I think the use cases haven't even been, we haven't even scratched the surface, right, of the use cases there. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays uh, plays out, Dennis. And for the media executives that are tuning in and very much looking to best position themselves for long-term success, what major step changes should they be taking now in order to harness AI in their data states of success for the years to head? Yeah, it's, it's actually something we focused on a fair amount uh, in my most recent role, where I was running a consultancy called Think Medium. Uh, we, we created a framework that I really want to take forward, uh, you know, and I think Snowflake is an amazing company and platform to do that with in a way that uh, it all starts with understanding what data assets you actually have. Like, what do you, what do you have? Right. Where are their gaps? Where are their opportunities to augment with second party data, third party data? Uh, you know, where are you compliant? Where are you not? Right? Where are you doing more with the data than you think than you actually should be? How do you get you know really establish your policies and get clearer on that? Um, and then that, in that process, you realize, oh, I actually need a really comprehensive data strategy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think very few companies have what I would call a comprehensive data strategy. Uh, and that's kind of the building block. You know, start with your asset, your data assets, build a strategy, and that gets you to. What are the technologies that can help enable that strategy? Uh, you know, it could be clean rooms, could be other privacy enhancing technology based solutions, could be a lot of things, right? Certainly AI data cloud is one of those. <laughs> what right. are the technologies? Who are the partners, right? Who actually help you deliver there? Uh, and that, you know, out the other end of that, hopefully comes really effective use of your data. Uh, maybe you even wind up using, you know, Fewer data sources than you you have been to date. Maybe you want, maybe you use more, but you you have to figure that out. I think very consciously, and that's something people haven't, in my mind, quite done. 
very much coming back to you need that strong data foundation in order to hundred percent be successful. Yeah. Um, Dennis, this is the second year Snowflake has shown up big here at at Can Lion. Why is this so, week so important to the sector as a whole, and what's top of mind for you while in France this week? You know, this is it. I was keeping count. This is my fifth time in Can. I've, I've been <laughs> welcome once, back. Thank you. <laughs> over fifteen or sixteen years with different companies mm. each time. Um, I mean, I think Can has increasingly become you know a a truly unique combination of the creativity side of i mean that's that's the basis right. of it right uh the creativity side of advertising and media but data technology you, there have been interesting ebbs and flows mm -hmm. and and you know is it more creativity is it more data and technology i think that that the fact that this is a place where all of that comes together and where people try to come back to the creativity and like what actually gets people excited about media and ads is is unique and the you know the opportunity to power all of that creativity with data obviously has been kind of an underpinning of can um, and i think this year with AI and the role that it's starting to play in generating creatives in personalizing advertising and media in new ways, right? completely new ways, um, and in even understanding what your audience is doing once you actually serve them an ad or point them you know, in, in a particular direction and in, in a personalized uh, you know, site experience or app experience. It's just, again, limitless possibility. And I think that makes it just increasingly exciting to, to be in this lovely environment and try to think like creatively about how this, how it evolves, right? Doesn't get much better than this. It's clearly all happening here in, in, in the South <laughs> yeah. of France. Well, Dennis, it's been such a pleasure. Welcome to Snowflake. Now I wanna to look towards what's next. As you look to the back half of 2025, what's your primary focus and why? Uh, yeah, being two weeks into yeah. the job, I think. <laughs> Not to put you on the spot. Thank you, it's fine, it's fine. Um, yeah, I, th I think the, I mean, my primary focus right now is just listening as much as I can to, uh, you know, to clients, to partners of Snowflake, to prospects of Snowflake. Um, I mean, I've had the very good fortune and privilege to be pretty well connected into the advertising industry, but establishing those relationships as part of Snowflake, right. I think is going to be incredibly interesting. And that's, you know, that's top of mind for me now and for the next probably several months because a lot of people to get to right. reconnect with. Um, but I think where, you know, my crystal ball tells me <laughs> that, uh, and, and maybe what excited me the most about coming to Snowflake uh, is, you know, we sit at the core of the stack, if you will, yeah. right? And um, if you can imagine how that core can grow a bit. And yes, that means it sort of pushes up against some interesting boundaries and uh, maybe veers a little bit more towards being, you know, a solution set in some cases, more infrastructure in other cases. I think that's what's most interesting. And I have a bias towards measurement of advertising and media as being kind of the critical use case that we can help kind of elevate and, and push into a little bit more, uh, certainly than, than we have to date. Well, I appreciate your time and insights. And uh, again, I wanna say welcome to Snowflake. Thank you so much, really appreciate it. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon.